Well, the political temperature in the last uh, few weeks has been inching up. Why? Because of the voter register is back on the agenda and the Ghana card. The Electoral Commission has a new CI that they've laid before Parliament that is generating a lot of talk. And so I extend an invitation to the General, General Mosquito, as you know him, is he joins us in Ketia, he's the General Secretary of the NDC uh, for a conversation about this. I really want to understand the NDC's position. He's the, he of course, is the chief scribe of the party. He's a general secretary. He's a chief executive. And so what really is their position? As you know, they've also boycotted the Electoral Commission's IPAC meetings. And I know there should be one that will be happening soon. And um, when will they change that position? But there are a lot more that I want to get through uh, today. And let me just quickly go through. If, when we sit down, we're going to go straight to the conversation. So let me just lay the foundation so you understand why this conversation has become relevant. Um, so it's about this particular CI and this clause that is inserted in there. It's, uh, uh, it's, it says that a person who applies for registration as a voter shall provide as evidence of identification the national identification card issued by the National Identification Authority. That is the only provision that specifies what you need, the ID card you need, to qualify to be registered to vote. And so if, this, if the CI is approved and becomes law in parliament, it, you can't come with any other document than your Ghana card, which is, in essence, what the issue is. The controversy has erupted uh, from here. Now, the registration. Now, per the new CI, another thing that we picked up, the CI plans to, the EC plans to conduct the exercise from district offices. We have the district registration supervisor and we have the, we have the registration center supervisor reporting to the regional officer in terms of the new structures you're creating. And we have two registers, the electoral area register and the constituency register. The, uh, Dr. Kojua, for example, will come to his concerns. He's raised concerns that you may have double voting here. The electoral commission actually mentions and cites the CI for 2020's elections. And it says this is a provision that was already in the law. And so this is a new. Uh, but we'll come to what Dr. Farajan says. Now, this CI is before Parliament and has been referred to the committee called the Subsidiary Legislation Committee. And that committee, ironically, is chaired by a member of the opposition. So the NDC's own former Deputy Attorney General, Dominic uh, Ayide, is the chairman of that particular committee. So they will obviously have a significant say on what eventually becomes law. So why is the NDC complaining when they have a formal channel to correct any ill in a CI with their own chairman at the helm? And so that's a, co a question I'll ask uh, the General Secretary when we get into the conversation. But this is an interesting thing we want to pull up for you. In terms of registration ID, uh, IDs that you require, identity documents you require, in 2016 elections, when we're going to elections, there were five identity documents that you can use to get onto the register. Then this now narrows to two in the 2020. And now we're going to uh, the 2021 CI, which of course is gonna be the substantive uh, legislation for 2024, has reduced it now to one. So you see incrementally something interesting is happening from five to two to only one document as an ID. So what are the documents? So if you go to the 20, um, you know, 2016, you have the passport, you have your driver's license, you have the national ID card, you had an existing voter's ID card, you have two registered voters as guarantors who do not have any of the cards listed. So five. So it just, it, it, some say this was well thought out because the constitution says, what do you need to vote? You have to be 18 and of sound mind and a Ghanaian. That's all. Right? So make sure you have as many identity, you know, means of identification to get on the voter as possible. So you can fulfill that clause in the constitution fundamentally. And that is why in 2016 you had all these, including the guarantor system. And then you come to 2020 and this narrows, as I indicated, to two. You have the Ghana card passport. The guarantor was also there, so three of them, right? The process. So this, so it narrowed down, but still, you know, fairly, get a Ghana card, get a passport, you, you get on, you can't like guarantor too, just go and take a guarantor, you, you are on the thing. And then you come to now, this is the only document you require. No more guarantor system too. And I think this is an also a very interesting point. Now, now no more guarantor going forward, 
is one that the EC is pushing also. So which means you'll just have to show this card. If you don't have this card, as some have said already, no Ghana card, no vote. It's, it's in essence what the mantra is. But then you look at, so if the Ghana card is the only one, then the NIA will have a lot of things to say about, about whether you vote or not, really. And you look at the population, we have 19.9 um, uh, million people above 15 years. And I put this here because that is the age for getting a, a Ghana card. So that is the total number of the population that should have a Ghana card, should. Now, but how many Ghana cards have been issued in reality is 15.7 um, you know, million cards. Uh, and then population that is 15 plus without a Ghana card is 14.2 million. So that tells you a story, right? That's a huge number of people that currently, you know, in that bracket. And they, of course, we include many 18 year olds who are just turning 18 who don't have Ghana, who don't have um, a voter's ID card already, who all need to register. Dr. Farajan, uh, one of the most famous uh, EC officers we've had in this country for a very long time, had concerns. So the Ghana cards as the only source will disenfranchise people. That's his first main concern. He also says um, a few things. The new proposed system meant uh, fewer registration centers will also come. People have to travel to go and register. That could affect people. And he says, don't you register. That is uh, polling station specific. It's under concern. Uh, then may, it may also give rise to multiple voting and ballot staffing if you have two uh, registers. And then since biometric verification devices are not all linked, that then is become difficult to detect if somebody wants to vote twice. The minority have a position on this. They made the point that the EC's plan originally is actually to get rid of the 2020 register and have a new one and have the Ghana card. We know the EC says we are not making, we are not getting rid of 2020 election, uh, voter uh, register. We're just doing one for continuous registration, 18 and those who are not on it already. And then later, we'll also talk about the economy. We'll talk about the reshuffle of the government. We'll talk about um, by-election or by no by-election in Dom Kwabinya uh, and others uh, here on the PM Express.